Hello, third graders. So this semester we've been practicing adding, subtracting, and multiplication. Since today is Monday, I will be giving you this assignment to complete throughout the week when you have extra time. This assignment is going to give you a fun way to practice everything that we've learned so far. So, learning outcomes. I can follow the directions of the game and assignment. I can apply prior knowledge to the games, and I can navigate the website effectively. So you, you can type in Math Playground to your web browser, or else I'll have it uh, linked in this video. And then I chose this website because it has a variety of games and it's super easy to navigate. This website can continue to be used up until sixth grade, and the lessons are exactly in line with, with what you'll be learning. So I recommend saving it somewhere. So after you're done completing the game, um, you will be handing in your assignment into my completed work basket in the front of the room with your name on it. So I will show you that document that you'll be completing. So here it is. So you'll put your name and the date on it. And then you'll put the game name that you play here. And then you're gonna put one question from the game here. And if you need any work to solve the answer or how you solve the answer, that's what I want you to explain. Okay, so and then the grading rubric for that is completed the ga three games in three different categories. And I will explain that. Example of one question for each game, game one, game two, and game three. Okay, so the so when you get to Math Playground, you'll click on third grade because you're all third graders. And then you'll click on Math Arcade. And then you'll go down. And as you can see, there's addition and subtraction games. And you can play one addition and one subtraction, subtraction game for e each of the categories. And then there's multiplication and division games and fraction and decimal games. And you won't be doing pre-algebra, but you can do shapes, money, and clock games, um, spelling games and grammar games and keyboarding games. You can do if you have extra time after completing the web, the games or the three games that for this assignment. So when you are doing your games, if I choose to do 10 frames, I'll click on the game. There we go. And then you can hit play. So you'll put Koala Cards Counting in the game name right here. And then after you're done playing the game, you're gonna have to remember one of the questions that you answered from Koala Cards Game. And if you have any other questions, please just let me know. Awesome.